Hi, my name is Diego, and I'm a senior solutions architect in AWS. I'm specialized in cloud migrations. In this session, I will demonstrate how to use Cloud Endure and AWS Migration Hub to build a lift and shift migration factory. Many companies today want to migrate their servers to AWS as quickly as possible. This is not an easy job, especially if you want to migrate thousands of servers in a short period of time. So I hope this presentation will help to provide some insights on how to accelerate your migration. By the end of this session, you should be able to explore automation tasks, such as checking prerequisites, installing of migration agents, orchestrating migration waves, application cutovers, and tracking migration status throughout the migration pipeline. For this session agenda, I'm going to cover a quick overview of a migration framework and the tools that can be used to support a migration, the challenges that you could face in a large-scale migration project, and the solution to address those challenges. I'm going to explain the concept of a migration factory and talk about some of the steps that can be automated. And finally, I'll present an overview of AWS Professional Services Cloud Endure Migration Factory solution. Let's get started with an overview about migration projects. This is a very simplified version of a migration framework. There are some activities that you should be executed as part of the pre-migration phase, such as discovering the environment, grouping servers in migration waves, creating a landing zone, defining the EC2 configurations as instance type and size, subnets, and security groups. During this phase, you may need to validate if the servers and applications have all the prerequisites to run in AWS. Then, we start the migration execution phase. It's when you apply the migration strategy defined in the first phase by building a migration pipeline, validating the assumptions, testing the application running in the new environment, and finally, cutting over the migration. It's important to mention that the lessons learned during the first migration waves will be used to improve the process and keep the migration momentum. Finally, there are some post-migration activities, such as notifying users and application owners about the migration completion or installing new tools to support the cloud environment. I want to talk now about the two tools that are going to support our migration journey. The first one is Cloud Endure, an AWS company. Enterprises looking to quickly rehost a large number of machines to AWS can use Cloud Endure migration without worrying about compatibility, performance disruption, or long cutover window. Any re-architecture that needs to be done can be performed more easily after your machines are running on AWS. Cloud Endure migration continually replicates your source machines into a staging area in your AWS account, without causing downtime or impacting performance in the source environment. When you're ready to launch the production machines, Cloud Endure Migration automatically converts your machines from their source infrastructure into the AWS infrastructure so they can boot up and run natively in AWS as EC2 instances. So why using Cloud Endure for the migration factory? One. I need a tool that is compatible with both Linux and Windows and can migrate from any source, so we can focus on a single migration solution. Two, I need a tool that has its API available because we're focusing on automation. And third, Cloud Endure has a feature that is called post-launch scripting. It will allow any kind of automation script to be executed when the converted servers run in AWS for the first time. With Cloud Endure Migration, you can migrate all applications and database that run on supported versions of Linux and Windows. This includes Windows Server versions 2003 to 2019, and Linux distributions such as CentOS, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Oracle Linux, SUSE, Ubuntu, and Debian. Cloud Endure Migration supports common database, including Oracle and SQL Server as well as enterprise applications such as SAP. As the focus will be installing agents in the servers that will be migrated, 
This solution is compatible with any OS from this list, regardless if it's physical, virtual, or running on a different cloud provider. The second tool in our migration factory is AWS Migration Hub. AWS Migration Hub provides a single location to track the progress of application migrations across multiple AWS and partner solutions. Using Migration Hub allows you to choose the AWS and partner migration tools that best fit your need, while providing visibility into the status of migration across your portfolio of applications. This will enable project managers and migration stakeholders to check the current progress and metrics of a migration project. Using Migration Hub, you can view the migration progress of all the resources in the application. This allows you to quickly get progress updates across all of your migrations, easily identify and troubleshoot any issues, and reduce the overall time and effort spent on your migration projects. Now that we're familiar with the migration tooling that we will use in the migration factory, let's talk about the challenges that you could face during a large-scale migration project. For a typical migration, there are some steps that you would have to execute, and you may not be sure about the right order to execute those steps, or what kind of unexpected delays you could face during the execution of each one of these steps. But as, for example, you would have to group servers into migration waves, check or fix operating systems dependencies, installing Cloud Endure agents, creating Cloud Endure blueprints, check if the servers are replicating as expected and there is no lag in replication, test your migration. Eventually, you may want to remove some unused drivers or install some software, such as a new monitoring tool you have to check if the converted servers are booting up and returning status of 2x2 two two in the Amazon EC2 screen. Test if the migration application is working as expected, if the application is up and running, and if it can be accessed by the test users. You have to update the Cloud Endure Blueprint configuration again to change settings from test environment to production environment. Notify the users about the maintenance window and as final steps, shut down source servers, cut over the migration, update DNS records, and check if everything is working again. The activities listed here, as well as the estimated time, could vary. A migration could take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours, depending on the steps that you define as part of your migration framework. And that works pretty well when just migrating a few servers. The problem is when you're engaged in a large-scale migration. Imagine the amount of time that would take to migrate 100 servers. If on average we take 3 hours per server, that would be 300 hours, not considering troubleshooting or the time it takes to replicate data. Or imagine if we're migrating 1,000 servers. In that case, it could be over a year. So ideally, the quickest way to migrate hundreds or thousands of servers to AWS would be a big migration button. Well, maybe instead, we could have a few smaller buttons or specific migration activities that we could consider automating. So what is a migration factory? A cloud migration factory can be very similar to a car manufacturing assembly line, for example where we could define the process, build the required automation in assembly line, and manage the KPIs and progress of our factory. Consider the assembly of a car. Assume that you have certain steps in the assembly line that are install the engine, install the hood, and install the wheels, and it must be executed in that order. Designing assembly lines can be a challenge. The aim is to assign a set of tasks which need to be performed in the right sequence, or define what tasks need to be completed before a particular task can be initiated, for example, not putting a screw before drilling the hole. And most important, tasks that are independent or can be executed in parallel. A proposed Cloud Endure Migration Factory assembly line would look like this, based in some buttons that we can automate. During the build phase, 
we start checking the prerequisites on the servers, install Cloud Endure agents, and create Cloud Endure blueprints. During the validation phase, we push the post launch scripts to the source servers, we start and monitor the data replication, and get ready for the dry run. During the test phase, once the data is fully replicated and in sync, we test if the servers can be properly converted to Amazon EC2. Once the test is successful, we terminate the test environment. And finally, when we are ready to migrate, we start the cutover phase. We shut down the source environment, execute the server cutover, and verify if the migrated applications are working as expected. Let me dive deep in some of the smaller buttons that you could build. The first one is the one that checks the server prerequisites for the migration. This script should be built considering both Linux and Windows specific prerequisites. Cloud Endure agents require some networking access, such as secure HTTP access to the Cloud Endure management console. And the agents also require TCP 1500 to Cloud Endure replication instance that runs in your AWS account. So some firewall work will have to be executed prior to migrating. Windows servers requires at least .NET 3.5 installed. For both Linux and Windows, you must check if there is enough free disk space and if the servers can be accessed remotely, Linux through SSH and Windows through RDP. There is also some permissions that Cloud Endure agents requires, as having sudo or run as permissions. Network cards in the source servers should be set up as DHCP. The images on the right side of this deck demonstrate a script that checks all of that, as well as reporting the servers that pass all the prerequisites and the servers that fail, and some servers that need remediation before the migration starts. The next script is to install Cloud Endure Agents. My recommendation is to install Cloud Endure Agents using its unattended installation mode. And install the agents in all the servers that you're going to migrate as quick as you can. This is especially helpful for companies that implement some kind of change management and requires approval to install agents in servers. The Cloud Endure Agents can be installed in stop mode, so you can start the data replication only when the assigned migration wave is about to start. As part of the script, it's important to report what server had agents successfully installed and what server needs some additional troubleshooting. A Cloud Endure migration blueprint is the configuration parameter that will define how Cloud Endure should launch the migrated EC2 instance. It is the place where you define the EC2 instance type and size subnet, security group, and tenancy. Manually creating hundreds of blueprints could be time-consuming, but you can leverage a spreadsheet or a CSV file to build up your migration planning and use a script to import that configuration into Cloud Endure as blueprints. A migration factory solution should also have information about the migration wave and main applications that runs in all the servers. Cloud Endure has a very interesting capability of running scripts when it converts a server to Amazon EC2 and boots the instance for the first time. Cloud Endure will run all the scripts placed in a specific folder in the source server. You don't need to learn any specific kind of scripting language. It is compatible with the native operating system scripting languages, such as PowerShell or Batch for Windows, or Bash scripts for Linux. You have unlimited options, and here are some examples. Renaming servers, add or remove software, joining an Active Directory domain, adding new users or deleting users, update DNS records, or change the application configuration file to update the database connection string, test if the application is up and running, send email notifying application users about the migration, and much more. As you already defined the migration waves in the spreadsheet, why not use that information to orchestrate the server cutover? Cloud Endure has two migration modes, test and cutover. And they do exactly the same thing. But test mode set a flag in the server to identify the servers that have been tested. 
And you can use that flag to build the guardrails to ensure that your servers have been tested prior to migrating. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this session, Cloud Endure and Migration Hub can be integrated. Cloud Endure will automatically send status updates to Migration Hub, and you can use that information to keep your migration stakeholder up to date with the current status and progress of the migration project. You may not have time to create your own scripts, or you may not have all the necessary resources available to build a migration factory from scratch. So AWS Professional Services Cloud Endure Migration Factory was designed to solve these problems. Cloud Endure Migration Factory is an orchestration platform powered by Cloud Endure for re-hosting servers to AWS at scale. It helps customers with their medium-scale to large-scale migrations by automating manual processes, which are often slow or complex to scale. Thousands of servers have been migrated to AWS using Cloud Endure Migration Factory. For example, an AWS customer used this solution to migrate 1,200 servers in five months. And we're able to cut over more than 600 servers in a single cutover window. The solution can be downloaded for free, and it contains a web interface to manage your project and all the scripts necessary to automate your migration. As the package contains the source code, you may want to customize it to suit for your migration needs. Here's a link where you can find more information about the AWS Professional Services Migration Factory. And here's a link of a hands-on lab where you can experiment this solution in a mock source environment and become more comfortable before migrating your production environment. I hope the solution presented today will help you to accelerate your future migrations. Your team can get started learning with our free digital training courses. We offer over 550 courses, including the six-hour AWS Cloud Practitioner Essential course. We offer a variety of learning paths by solution and by role to help advance skills or prepare your teams to, for AWS certification. Plus, we also offer enterprise-specific courses such as case studies, ebook, and white papers to help you accelerate and scale your modernization. Thank you and have a nice day.